Hey, it's Brock here from Rock Hill Farms. And if you follow the channel, you know I'm in the process of turning this entire building into an equipment shed. And I want to have specific spots that all my attachments go, places to hang my saws. I'm about halfway through that. I've got racks over here for all the front end attachments. I've got the doors for the tractor hanging over here. So my process of working on this got slowed down when I went and bought this stack of plywood for the manufacturing operation. This is all junk plywood. It's supposed to be three quarter inch thick. Some of it's less than half inch thick. And then some of it is completely delaminated or halfway delaminated. I can't get any work done because this stack is in my way. So the first thing I'm going to do today is sort this into a whether the wood is just too thin or if it's also delaminated. And then we're gonna start putting some reinforcements on this new shelf I built and start putting some decking up, putting a back wall up. It's already afternoon. I wanna see how much I can get done in here. So I better get going. Alright, now that I got all that wood out of the way, I need to put some cross blocking in here to solidify these joists. I've got some 2x12s down there. Kind of got a variety of treated lumber laying around out here. I'll go see what I can scrounge up and start getting some blocks put in here. Don't ask me why I spun this 360 degrees before cutting it, because I have no idea. My oldest son came out and helped me for a little bit here. As you can see, he is quite the skilled craftsman. Did I do it? I think I, 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 think it? I did it. No, okay. All right, so now I've cut some 4x4s to support the weight of this. I'd like to put them out towards the front, but this just isn't wide enough. If I put them at the front, I'd never be able to get the attachments in. So I have this supported on each end, floor to ceiling. I have support running from the shelf up to the ceiling in the middle. And then in the center, this direction, I'm putting 4x4s to support the weight. Then I'm going to run some more supports angling from the shelf down to the 6x6 building supports. All right, 
right, so we have this section of shelf reinforced. Time to start putting up decking. All right, it's warm up here. I'll show you what we've got over here. Here's our four by fours. Here's our angled support up from that beam. There's the other four by four. Then all of our reinforcing blocks.
All right, well, I don't know if it looks like I accomplished a lot, but it was hot out here today. And it was humid, and it was really hot and humid climbing up there. But I feel like I made good progress. However, I'm a long way from what I envisioned this looking like. I'm going to build custom pallets for all the attachments so that they easily set into their designated area. The landscape rake's actually going to go over here and probably be working on this again tomorrow. So I appreciate you taking time to watch this video. Just a minute, you'll see links on the screen to a couple more of our videos, and I'll see you next time.